Well, yes, the Cary Blue Devils went to Old Fort on Wednesday and handled their business, getting that first tournament win against the Edison Chargers of the Sandusky Bay Conference. But tonight, the Blue Devils will be facing a familiar opponent from the N10, the Colonel Crawford Eagles. And the Eagles 15 at seven overall, fifth in the N10, just one spot behind Carey. Now the Eagles have had multiple players step up this season, most notably the conference's top score. The N10 scoring leader is Colonel Crawford Jr. Ellison Teglofin, who during the course of any game is shadowed and chased by defenders hoping to curtail her impressive production. But as the season has gone on, the approach to torment Teglovic has allowed her teammates to break free for opportunities. Sophomore guard Kaylin Reisner has taken advantage of the opening. Teresa Dugan has contributed on both hands, and Hannah Plesak has delivered in the post, and sometimes from long range. Along with Jenna Maddy, Allie Hawker, McKenna Trish, Mariah Kotzmeyer, and Lydia Fife, the Eagles have worked to become a more balanced team that's happy to have Teglovic as the catalyst. She's just a worker. If you come into our practice, you, you will notice her because she works harder than anybody else, and she just... She's just a great kid to coach. Um, not only does she work hard, but um, you know she does the things off the floor where she, she spends a lot of time watching tape and watching film and, and doing the mental preparation that it takes. And um, she worked really hard in the off season. Um, you know, she came and did what we wanted to in the summer, but um, a lot of times we'd see her out in the driveway um, perfecting her game or in here in the gym. Um, she just she just continues to work. She works hard when people aren't working. So, so really what she's done doesn't really shock me. Reisner has solidified her spot as the team's number two score. Although the Eagles won nine of their first ten games before dropping five of their following eight, the players believe that the ups and downs have prepared them for the tournament road ahead. Um, I think we're doing pretty well as long as we keep up and communicate and let each other know what's going on like on, with our player and other players and just communicate. Well, we all know that they're going to shut Bob and Kaylin down, so it's very helpful when the rest of the team steps up and can make shots. I think we could do a little bit better defensively, maybe boxing out a little bit, just take away like three more boards, offensive boards from another team or just a few little minor things that we need to fix. I'm going to say it's the team that goes out there and works the hardest and prepares. Well, after Kerry's win over Edison on Wednesday, the thought of having to contain Teglevin was clearly on the mind of Blue Devil Junior for Avery Stewart. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Uh, she's pretty good. She's a good high rebounder. So, I mean, defense. Just got to box yeah. out. Box out, rebounding. More than her. Win the rebound battle. Now Elena Teal was at Stewart's side, and she offered her thoughts on what it will take for Carrie to overcome Crawford tonight. Same thing tonight. The intensity we had, the confidence we had, and obviously us never giving up. We need to. We just need to be able to do what we did tonight. Stay calm in pressured situations, and just be us. Well, during the regular season, these two teams did split their meetings. The Eagles winning in North Robinson by eight. The Blue Devils winning in Cary by 10. So tonight's tournament game does amount to a postseason tiebreaker. Game time, eight o'clock from Old Fort. We'll have all the live play-by-play -play of Colonel Crawford versus Cary on Magic 95.9, Magic 95.9.com, and iHeartRadio.